I'm Kevin Cameron, and I'm about to tell you some stories about normal and abnormal combustion. In normal combustion, the piston ring is on its way up the cylinder toward top dead center. It's compressing a mixture of fuel and air above it. And at a point before it gets to top dead center, a spark passes across the gap of the spark plug electrodes. And that sets the mixture to burning, creating a tiny flame kernel. If the mixture of fuel and air is adequately turbulent, swirling and eddying in possibly hundreds of little whirls, flame kernel is broken up, shredded, and distributed rapidly so that it has the effect of the flame spreading from the spark plug toward the cylinder walls at rates of 50 feet per second and up. An upper bound would be perhaps 200 feet per second. Bear in mind that uh, an actual explosion would be thousands of feet per second. So normal combustion is simply burning like a forest fire by a process chemists call deflagration. And in the case of a forest fire, what ignites the unburned fuel is the heat of the flame front. However, this desirable outcome of the spark igniting normal combustion, which proceeds <clears throat> in an orderly fashion, as the Supreme Court would say, with all deliberate speed, to the cylinder wall, consuming the entire charge, there are other possibilities. One possibility is called pre-ignition, and it is just what you would think from the name. It is ignition of the fuel-air mixture before the spark by some hot object in the cylinder or combustion chamber. The hot object may be the overheated electrodes of a spark plug of too hot a heat range, or it could be glowing carbon deposits in the combustion chamber. But the result is always the same. After one or two cycles, this happens very, very quickly, with the piston compressing burning mixture ahead of it, the part of the piston farthest from the cool cylinder wall, namely the center of the dome, becomes hot very quickly. When aluminum becomes hot, it loses its strength and eventually it sags and then it punches through. That is pre-ignition. But there is another phenomenon entirely different from pre-ignition known as detonation. Detonation and pre-ignition are not the same, so you must not use one term to describe the other phenomenon. Here is a piston that has suffered detonation. And here are some of the results. Notice that the piston rings are exposed because the aluminum around them has been blasted away. What happens in detonation is that ignition is normal. It takes place at the spark plug. The flame front moves normally outward, but as that flame front expands against and compresses the unburned fuel-air mixture out near the cylinder wall, if that mixture, through being heated over a lengthy period of time, gets hot enough, something like 900 centigrade, chemical changes occur in that fuel-air mixture that transform it into a sensitive explosive. If the process goes far enough, at some point around the edge of the piston, mind you, pre-ignition, the damage is in the center. Detonation, the damage is going to occur around the edge. At some point around the edge somewhere, a small volume of unburned mixture explodes. It burns at the local speed of sound. It creates a shock wave which strikes the inside of the cylinder head, causing the sound we call knock. Now, modern cars and motorcycles have knock detection systems, so we don't hear them knocking. You, in order to have encountered detonation, you might have to be an older person who's ridden in a three-speed taxi running on cheap gas. 
When the engine is lugging at low RPM, it provides the extra time necessary for detonation conditions to develop. What you will see on a piston that is detonated lightly is the appearance of having been sandblasted at some point around its edge. That sandblast effect is the aluminum itself being blasted off of the surface by the waves from detonation. When this piston seized, possibly at a track like Talladega, Alabama, the whole piston was so weak that the connecting rod tore the wrist pin and the wrist pin bosses. We can compare new and old. Tore the wrist pin bosses right out of the piston and left it as a pitiable wreckage. Both conditions are well worth avoiding. Pre-ignition, detonation, bad.